so annoying. Dude. Boys, we got a big box or thing today. I don't know what you what do you want to call it? A box? It's time. That was a real pain in the butt, but we got it, and it's really dusty. So we're gonna clean it up and get it going. So right now I'm just gonna give it a quick little wash to get off all that dirt and dust and whatever's on it. I think it's just, what is it, just dust or powder? Okay, so I'm just gonna wash off all the powder real quick and get this thing going. Just got the fog light bezels in. Looks a lot more better in the front now. Now I don't have the fog lights itself. I'm gonna have to wait for that, but as of right now, that's when it's gonna have to be. And oh, I'm so excited for this. It's gonna look so much better than the GT bumper. So I'm gonna move all the cars out, pull my car in, and go from there. Cody, shut up. Dude, are you ready for this? Ready. And dude, we're we're both wearing shorts now. I'm ready, Freddy, dude. Let's do this. Oh, got it. What'd you guys do at the tire shop anyway? Or the tire thing or whatever. This is my new one. Oh, it's so, so soft. And then the other side's the softer part. Ooh. But it's not Adam's polishes. No, it's not. <laughs> but dude, come check out the bumper. I'm so pumped right now. Look at, oh, I already put the bezels in because I was so pumped. I don't have fog lights, sadly, you know, but, dude, it's here. They did a good job on paint match, too. All right, you ready to install this? All right, let's go. All right, so now we got the car inside the garage. We're gonna take off the old bumper and get this thing going. You ready? So ready. <laughs> Two hours later. All right, we got the bumper off. That was a pain in the ass. All right, All right you ready for phase two? Yeah. Two hours later. All right, so this has been more of a pain in the ass than we thought. So we got this side on, and now we're working on this side. Now, it is not going to be a perfect fit for if anyone wants to do that. This is hanging down a little bit, but I'm gonna try adjusting it maybe. Maybe it'll yeah, zoom in a little bit. It's not perfect. I've noticed a lot of other people who have the bumper have that issue. Now I'm gonna work on this side, and then after that, you have to drill up here, right? Where, uh, focus, where these are. So you just drill a little hole in there, and there, we're gonna probably find some self -trap, uh, tapping screws, put the headlights in, and go from there. So, so far, it's working. So, bullet, you're almost perfect. What? Work it, twerk it? Are you gonna start twerking for the video now? No. Oh, dang it. <laughs> but, after we put this side in, you think it's ready for 7-Eleven time? Yeah, dude, Slurpee time. Slurpees. All right, so after we finish this side, I'm gonna take you guys to 7-Eleven with us and Go from there. So, finish this side, and then we'll. Then I'll tell you guys everything. All right, we're gonna go to set eleven. Then I'll tell you guys how we did all this. So, yeah, I'm just gonna work on this side. One eternity later. So it is now currently about a week later after this bumper install, and you may be wondering why I waited so long to finish this video. Because I'm 
lazy. Simple as that. But I'm just going to show you guys at the end of this video the little rundown of what we had to do to the bumper to get it to fit right and all that. So it's nothing crazy. I'm going to get that out of the way. It's nothing crazy to do. Just little extra modifications you have to do to get it to fit just right. So I'm going to walk you guys through that. So first thing, simple little task. On the old bumper, you're going to have these tabs where these uh, you run it through and then you put the nuts on and so the, the side of the bumper stays. Well, you have to take off the old clips, put it on this one, and on the old bumper, they are riveted on. So what you do is draw the rivets on the old bumper and just use some like nuts and bolts to put it on here or re-rivet it if you want to. No big deal. That's what we did and it's fine. A little bit of fitment issue here, but it's just a little bit of adjusting that I need to do. Just pretty lazy, like I said. <laughs> but that's the only fitment issue I have on the car. Besides that, it's not that bad. Um, you have to do this on both sides, by the way. So from the old bumper, take off the old rivets and clips, put them on here. That's the only really special thing you have to do. So the next thing you had to do is actually just under the hood. So as you can tell, the only thing I had to do on the side was that. That's pretty much basic stuff. But when you come over to here, see this little screw right here? Let me see if I can just get the focus in on it. Focus, there we go. See the screw right here? That is a custom screw. It's not from the old ones. On the old bumper, it was a clip. So what we did was we just got a self-tapping screw and we had to push the bumper back a little bit up here so it would fit right and the hood would actually not close with it. So we just had to drill a new hole and no big deal. Drill it into the top piece. You can't really tell, but on here there's two layers. Drill it on the top layer right before the end and you're golden. That is the only fit, or not only fitment, but the only modification you really have to do is just add a new screw. Just some, some self-tapping screws that fit in that hole, call it good. So that's really it on installing that bumper. Not that difficult, like I said. It, the only reason why it was so hard for us is because we didn't jack the car up. So it was a pain to reach these bolts. And you know, that's really it. Everything looks fine. Paint looks great, like I said. And for $279 pre-painted and everything, it looks awesome. Now in total, I spent $325. That's because I had to buy the fog lights, or the, not the fog lights, but the bezels. And that's really it. Everything comes together and it's pretty decently cheap. But before I go, if you guys have any questions whatsoever about this bumper, um, if I miss something and you need help with something, just leave a comment and I'll try to respond as soon as I can. Um, also, you can message me on Instagram. Uh, I will flash up on the screen my Instagram. Also, follow my company, Unfaze Co. Check out the website. Link is always going to be in the description down below. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. But before this video ends, I do also want to say that this was a pain in the butt to finish. I don't know why I could not talk every time I tried recording this, but, you know, I got it done. And, yeah, but anyways, that's it for this video. Um, I think the next modification for Bullet is going to be some exhaust tips. Um, going to go four inch. So hopefully that will be coming up very soon because I think it's time to get rid of these. But anyways, thanks for watching. I'm going to have tons of more videos coming soon. Check out unfaceco.com. That is my company. Any automotive apparel on there. And follow my Instagram, unfaced Instagram, and you know everything in the description down below. So peace out, guys. See you guys next time.